The east coast of the United States has produced world-class surfing talent over the past few decades, with eastern Florida being home to 11-time world champion Kelly Slater, who grew up surfing the waves of Sebastian. The next generation of American surfers continue to emerge from this area, despite the often unpredictable and difficult wave conditions. My name is Tommy Coleman, and I'm a surfer. I've been surfing since I was three. I love surfing just because I love to be in the water. Surfing on the East Coast gets less more known than the West Coast. It's hard because it's flat a lot. It's fun though, the water's warm most of the time. Even in the winter, it's like 80 degrees. When we get a swell, it's really fun. My name's Chauncey Tweed Robinson. I'm 18 years old from Melbourne Beach, Florida. Melbourne Beach is just one of the more iconic waves on the East Coast, I would say. Not necessarily present day, but has a lot of history and still produces some, some really good waves from time to time. It's produced some insane surfers over the years. The East Coast surf scene is, doesn't offer a lot of opportunity when it comes to like world-class waves, so whenever good swells do come through, like everyone's pretty on it. Kelly just kind of proves that you can come from anywhere and, and be like the greatest. Just knowing what the East Coast is capable of producing, that's a lot of inspiration for me. It takes a lot of time to track swells and, and follow them and know where it's going to be best on the East Coast. There's guys that follow every swell everywhere. We're in uh, Sebastian, Florida. This spot's pretty good for waves. I definitely try to get out when there's waves as much as I can. I like to mix it up. I like to just like be able to do turns and airs and also real turns. I'd say I've got power mixed in with progression. I try to stick to the real game and then have the adaptability to go to there from time to time. Since I've started surfing, it's been nonstop like tracking swells and like trying to get to where the waves are gonna be the best every single day. Today there, there's a pretty fun north swell mixed with an east-southeast ground swell. There's a bit of a combo out in the water, which makes it super peaky. This is like pretty fun. This is probably a seven out of 10. With surfing making its first appearance in the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo, it's an exciting time for young surfers across the globe. Robinson and Coleman have high hopes of making the cut in three years' time. This is my second year being involved in the surfing, or USA surfing team. I fly out to California, so I'm gonna do like the USA team trainings. I feel like it helps out my surfing, and just being able to travel and go out there makes like, be able to practice on those waves too helps out a lot. I did the Surfing America Primes and that was like the, the leading contest organization throughout the entire United States growing up and that, that helped me a lot learn competitive strategies and it's brought, brought a whole new aspect of surfing to me. Surfing going to the Olympics is really exciting for me. I really hope I'll be able to get picked and be able to do it, but I'm really excited. I really like Japan. I feel like some people don't think surfing is like a real sport, but I think after this it will really show them like surfing actually is a sport. It's going to bring so many more viewers and whole new audience to surfing that have never been able to see it before just because they don't have it at their fingertips. And now that it's in the Olympics, it's like, I don't know, it's going to be insane. It's going to bring a lot of new great things to surfing.